first episode we're going to be showing you our lovely home port of Ipswich. Part of Rob's stroke disability is our memory recall. He actually made these videos last year to prepare for future passage planning. We thought they may be of assistance to you, the viewer. So whether you're coming from Belgium, Holland or France, perhaps even Germany, or even further around the south coast, I hope you find these videos useful. Coming from the north and hugging the coast from Lowestoft, you'll pass Sizewell B Power Station with its distinctive white dome and many offshore obstructions. The next landmark is the 30 meter Offordness Lighthouse. Whether you're coming from the north or the Medusa Channel in the south, you'll probably find an uncomfortable chop with the wind against tide. A useful bit of advice is to tune your VHF to channel 71 Harwich VTS and maintain a listening watch. Once you're in the river, conditions will calm down, but be careful to stick to the small ship's channel. Remember, you're being watched. Now he looks familiar. The small ship's channel runs almost parallel with the container port. Keep a sharp lookout for tugboats and large container vessels manoeuvring. The port of Felixstowe deals with nearly 50% of the UK's containers. Running 24 hours a day, it's the busiest in England. Over 3,000 ships visit each year. The dock is nearly one and a half miles long. When heading up river and you've cleared Felixstowe, remember to change your VHF to 68 or well navigation working channel. Can you hold it a bit further? <laughs> the channel is well appointed with lateral marks. The boys at ABP have a rolling service pan and all the cans are nicely maintained. However, don't stray far from the channel as the shallows are waiting to catch out the unwary skipper. Oh, you lot, haven't you heard of social distancing? There's bird flu about, you know. Okay, last one to the bottom's a wuss. Oh, look. Hello, Ipswich. Look, this is Yacht Blue Solitaire. Blue Solitaire, it's just not going ahead. Good afternoon, we're just uh, coming under the bridge. Uh, we'd like to join the lock in queue, please, haven't we? Never mind, Billy, you'll have to keep your legs crossed a bit longer. Shortly after passing under the Orwell Bridge, you'll enter the port of Ipswich. Once again, keep a watchful eye for large ships moving. On the west bank is the home of Oyster Yachts and Fox's Marina. The river continues through the flood defences to port. However, to enter the wet dock, follow the starboard channel and enter on the green light. Inside the lock are pontoons that rise and fall with the lock. If you're the only boat in the lock, more up close to the south entrance, there's less water turbulence here. The Prince Philip lock is operated from the lock keeper's control tower. It's important to notify the lock keeper if you intend to transit the lock, 
and await instructions. If there's a delay in getting the green light, it could be he's swinging the road bridge or perhaps prioritising a large vessel with manoeuvring restrictions. Large vessels normally moor up on the west wall of the lock. Remember it's mandatory for all crew to wear life jackets while using the lock. I've witnessed some strange vessels transiting the lock, but none quite as weird as Noah's Ark. Most of the Haven's visitors' berths are located near the Harbour Master's office. Give them a call on Channel 80 and wait for berthing instructions. Fancy a walk round the harbour? We're now in the heart of the old docks area. All the buildings where they used to unload grain and stuff from the uh, Thames barges. The marina is steeped in maritime history and many examples of its industrial past still remain. Yacht building is alive and well here in Ipswich and uh, the marina can proudly boast a still 100% British built yacht and it's made by Spirit. They really are true quality boats and even the workshop door is shiny. The hulls are made upside down and then stored outside. I have to admit I have a soft spot for the timeless beauty of these sleek modern yachts. This keel and mast are about to be fitted to the largest Spirit ever built here. It's the Spirit 111. This Spirit yacht is one of the most environmentally friendly sailing super yacht ever built. It's powered by a Torquedo 100 kilowatt electric motor fed from a bank of lithium batteries. When under sail, the propulsion system will recharge the batteries. At 34 metres, she's certainly a sleek and beautiful machine. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode sailing to Ipswich. Come and join us in part two when we explore its waterfront carnival and nightlife.